How to bring your footage from Premiere into Adobe Encore for the purposes of creating a DVD. So now I have Encore open and I've selected new project. I'm going to call the project Ron Premiere DVD Tutorial and save it to this folder's fine. It asked me to select an authoring mode, Blu-ray or DVD. I'm going to author a DVD. It asked me what my television standard, NTSC or PAL. Since I'm here in North America, I'm going to select NTSC. This is showing the transcode settings. And I'll click OK. Now that I've clicked OK, I can go here to File. And I can select Adobe Dynamic Link Import Premiere Pro Sequence. So that's one option to be able to get it in is by going to the folder and then importing my Premiere project directly. I can also select File, Import as Asset, and go and grab my exported files, which are right here, Anim2, Anim DVD, M2V, and the WAV file, which is the audio. Click Open. And right now this line you can see that it's written in italics. It's because it is encoding the video information. And now it's finished 100%. And now it is in. I can now select this file and right mouse click and select New Timeline. This will bring it into the timeline of Encore. Now I'm going to bring the audio in. And now this looks very similar to Premiere. So here is my DVD that I've created with my footage. So if I hadn't already created the chapters in Premiere, I can now do that here by going in. And there is the one chapter I created. I can also just go to the point that I would like it. This is how you zoom in and out, much like Premiere. Go to the point that I wanted the next chapter setting. Right mouse click below Add Chapter Point. That allows me to specify where that chapter is. I can also, if I decided that I wanted the thumbnail for that chapter instead of being here, then I could go here to where I do want the thumbnail to be. Right mouse click that chapter and select Set Poster Frame. You'll notice that this also now has a number two, but it's not a chapter point icon, it's a poster frame icon that lets me know that this is my beginning chapter point, but this is where it's getting its thumbnail from. Once I've set all that up and I'm ready to export, then I go to Build. I make sure that my format is set to DVD as opposed to Flash or Blu-ray. Now my output, I can either output directly to a DVD disk where it will ask me for a DVD disk to go into the drive, or I can ask it to save to a DVD folder where it will save the files in a structure that I could then use another program to burn to the disk. Or I could select DVD image or DVP image, which will allow me to create a disk image that most software that you use to burn disk with will understand that this is an image of the disk and it can burn a disk from that disk image. Create using current project, specify my recorder, my write speed, whether or not I have variants there, how many copies, and then click Check Project. Once I click Check Project, I can select what items it's going to check for. Click Start. It says End Action Not Set. If you click that, it will open up the section where you would specify that information. So the timeline name is Anim DVD here under End Action Not Set. If I select this, it's coming to a menu outside, and I select Anim DVD Chapter 1 and that points me to it. I could also do it by grabbing this here. This is a link to. And then select, sorry, let me move this out of the way. Grab this here, point to, select that chapter, and now it will go back to at the end of playing the timeline, go back to playing chapter one again. Or I could select a menu if I had a menu, etc. We don't have time to go into detail here about creating your own custom menus in Adobe Encore, but there are menu templates available in Encore that are pretty straightforward to set up and look great. Click Start again here to check, Title Remote Not Set. This is 
a setting that if you don't have menu set up and you can't therefore point to a menu, it is okay to leave that as not set and it will still burn correctly. Over here under disk, this is where I can name the disk. I'll call it Anim DVD. That's how the name would appear. Or if you wanted to use all capitals, something like that, Anim DVD. Click start. Yep. Now click build. It warns me about that one. Click ignore and continue, and it will start rendering. So that is how to create a DVD from Encore based on your project that you've created in Premiere. And that wraps it up for this tutorial. I hope that you have enjoyed it. I hope that it has helped you feel more familiar with Premiere Pro and how to use it. There's a lot to cover, obviously. It can do many, many things. But I hope that this gave you enough of a general knowledge so that you feel you can get up and running and start being able to create within the program. Thank you very much for listening.